Chapter 3 This prayer was sung by the prophet Habakkuk. I have heard all about you, Lord, and I am filled with awe by the amazing things you have done. In this time of our deep need, begin again to help us, as you did in years gone by. Show us your power to save us, and in your anger remember your mercy. I see God, the Holy One, moving across the deserts from Edom and Mount Paran. His brilliant splendor fills the heavens, and the earth is filled with His praise. What a wonderful God He is! Rays of brilliant light flash from His hands. He rejoices in His awesome power. Pestilence marches before Him. Plague follows close behind. When He stops, the earth shakes. When He looks, the nations tremble. He shatters the everlasting mountains and levels the eternal hills. But His power is not diminished in the least. I see the peoples of Kushan and Midian trembling in terror. Was it in anger, Lord, that you struck the rivers and parted the sea? Were you displeased with them? No, you were sending your chariots of salvation. You were commanding your weapons of power. You split open the earth with flowing rivers. The mountains watched and trembled. Onward swept the raging waters. The mighty deep cried out, lifting its hands to the Lord. The lofty sun and moon began to fade, obscured by brilliance from your arrows and the flashing of your glittering spear. You marched across the land in awesome anger, and trampled the nations in your fury. You went out to rescue your chosen people, to save your anointed ones. You crushed the heads of the wicked and laid bare their bones from head to toe. With their own weapons you destroyed those who rushed out like a whirlwind, thinking Israel would be easy prey. You trampled the sea with your horses, and the mighty waters piled high. I trembled inside when I heard all this. My lips quivered with fear. My legs gave way beneath me, and I shook in terror. I will wait quietly for the coming day when disaster will strike the people who invade us. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms, and there are no grapes on the vine, even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren, even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle barns are empty, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in the God of my salvation. The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He will make me as sure-footed as a deer, and bring me safely over the mountains. For the choir director, this prayer is to be accompanied by stringed instruments.